Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Ant. Uh, so this is a new channel for me. I've uh, recently got really into collecting, uh, you know, Hot Wheels and 164 scale diecast cars. Uh, so much so that I thought it might be cool to make a, to start a channel and, and start recording my uh, peg hunting hauls. Because I, I go like almost every day. There's so many stores out here. It's kind of hard not to. Um, you know, I, I was inspired to make this video by uh, guys like Ghost Jerker. Um, Peak Time Racing and WTF4. Uh, just really dig their, their content and I thought, you know, I might try to contribute uh, some more maybe similar content, uh, you know, to, to the community. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. Um, there's a ton of stuff here. This is going to be a long video, so I'm going to apologize right up front. But I'm going to get right into the stuff I've bought over the course of probably the last three weeks. Um, Went to a Target today, and they had the full set of silhouettes, so I got all five. Um, I love these. The, the cards are really awesome. The cars themselves are awesome. I like the uh, the Chevy Monza. Uh, and I also love Skylines, so that one was pretty sweet. Uh, and, of course, the other Porsche. Um, also, today I found three... Uh, Bugattis, so I went ahead and grabbed all of them. Um, th these used to be so tough to find, and I know they're not anymore, but I still kind of dig them, so I, I always go ahead and grab them. Um, all right, now I'm going to get into just some regular mainline Hot Wheels and basic uh, Matchbox. So I'm just going to kind of flash through these, and I'll be talking through it as I go. <clears throat> so I started collecting uh, basically in June, and in that time I've bought... I've got thousands and thousands, well, let's see, probably 2,000 or so cars. Close to 1,000 carded, and uh, I love Guaxilla. And, um, you know, well over 1,000 loose. I buy a lot of collections uh, on, you know, Facebook Marketplace and uh, Let Go and stuff like that, Craigslist. Uh, so these, I buy all the Datsuns I find. I love Datsuns, so I always buy these when I see them. Uh, same for these. I like this set, and anytime I find something other than Bone Shaker, because that's usually all that's over there, I tend to grab it. Um, so anyway, yeah, I uh, I've, I haven't been doing this for very long, and so actually like this, when I see 2018s, I usually get excited, because this is just a basic, not very exciting casting, but um, I didn't have it, so... Uh, there's a lot of stuff here that is probably not exciting to most people, but it's pretty cool to me uh, for that reason. Uh, and then I've been hunting through a lot of dump bins recently. Um, so you'll see some of these newer castings. Uh, and I did find some treasure hunts. I mean, basically treasure hunts. I can show you those. Let me get these out of the way. That didn't go well. Uh, let's see, where did I put them? Somewhere in here I've got... Um, here they are. So far I've found uh, four of the Camaros. So these are really awesome. I like these a lot. Uh, and I, these aren't all the ones I found. I did actually leave some for other people. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit of a hoarder, but I'm not... Greedy, I guess. I don't know. Alright, so then back into just some of the mainline cars. The Jerry rigged. I found this old Tooligan uh, at a Walmart randomly, so I went ahead and picked that up. I don't really love it, but it was an older card, so I grabbed it. Um, just do a few at a time here. There's another Nova. So you're probably going to see some duplicates. Uh, sometimes I just lose track of what I've already purchased. Oh, I love the Firebird. That one is really awesome. Uh, and I also like the Matchbox uh, Beetle. Um, just uh, more random stuff. There's the, the purple Porsche. I picked up this NASA truck. It's been... I've been staring at that thing on the pegs for so long now. I figured, let me just get it. Get it out of the way. <laughs> um... So the reason I wanted to make this channel is that I was, like I said before, I was really inspired by a few guys, and I'm hoping that uh, to become part of the community, you know, just kind of 
I don't know if anybody's on here trading and stuff like that. Uh, there's a Zamac uh, Mustang 2 plus 2 Fastback. I picked up 10 of these. There's one dump in that had just like so many of them. And I really like Mustangs, so I went ahead and bought a whole bunch. Uh, there's a Super Fast. So yeah, I mean, if there's anybody out there looking to trade or, or whatever or sell, uh, I'm always buying. Uh, hit me up in the comments. I'd be happy to talk to you. Let's see, moving along here, I picked up uh, a lot of 2018s recently. There was a Walmart that had, for some reason, a whole bunch of 2018s. And like I said, I started collecting this summer, so didn't have any of them. Uh, there's a couple Mustangs. I, I picked up three of these. They're pretty sweet. These are the Volkswagen K4 Racers. All right. Uh... I love Datsuns. Datsuns and Skylines are kind of my favorites, so I always grab those. This Hudson Hornet, super fast, is awesome. I uh, love the Crown Vic. There's two of these in here, so I might end up cracking that one open. This one looks like it's kind of an error. I don't know if you can see in the video, but the back the paint job is like really faded. It looks like they were running out. I don't know if it's an error, but just kind of cool, like a variation, I guess. <clears throat> <laughs> picked up this thing uh, Here's a Nissan Titan, which is awesome and uh, Volkswagen Golf There's the European style Tampo um, Porsche Panamera police car and uh, the 67 Mustang in purple and This is pretty sweet Two uh, Dodge Charger drift car police cars and uh, Zamac editions so that was awesome. I've, it's cool. I, I've been finding quite a few Zamac editions, like different styles. So that's been pretty awesome. Um, different. It seems like different stores. Like I'm. Like I said, I'm just kind of learning my way through this. And it looks seems like different stores carry different cars. I don't know, different Zamacs. Uh, so here's three more. <laughs> here's four more of the Mustangs. Here's a Dodge Charger in purple. Uh, Velocita. Here's a T2 pickup. Ford Focus. Uh, here's a few more Zamax, and these are really sweet. Love my Datsuns. There's a couple um, 240Zs. And these are also awesome. A couple of um, McLaren P1s. Bear with me here. Lots of stuff to go through. Found this uh, Huracan. Uh, Backdrafter. Thing's pretty badass looking. There's a really sweet blue 49 Ford. Uh, this is a Porsche 917 LH. Um, and, uh, like I said, <laughs> I love my Datsuns. Tend to always grab those when I see them. Uh, Austin Healy Roadster. This thing's weird. I'm uh, a pretty cool road bandit. Uh, it's a gotta go. Probably the silliest casting they make, but gotta get it, you know. Capo Camaro. <clears throat> right, we're getting close to the bottom here of the main line stuff. I'm just going to go through some of these Hot Wheels cars kind of fast because these are really just basic. Uh, except that brown one's pretty sweet. I've only seen that once before, so I was pretty uh, interested in that one when I picked it up. And a perfectly in scale uh, city bus, right? <laughs> perfectly in scale. Uh, so some newer ones here. I got the Snoopy. Uh, Night Shifter. Uh, there's a chill mill and a Mustang. <clears throat> so stay tuned. I got some really cool stuff coming after we get through all this mainline stuff. There's a short card Nomad. Uh, Zamac uh, F100. <clears throat> there's three Zamac. Uh, let's see. 67 Chevelle SS 396s. 
and three Zamac McLaren 720S's. <coughs> Got the uh, Halo car, the Warthog, another uh, Dodge Challenger, the Honda City Turbo. <clears throat> Some more Matchbox. I love this uh, Monte Carlo. I always pick these up when I find them. If it's not a bone shaker that they have a hundred of, I'm gonna buy it. Uh, here's a uh, Dodge D200. Subaru SVX. Uh, I guess that's a Jeep. I'm not really sure. Uh, here's a super fast uh, BMW. There's a 4x4. There's a Camaro SS and another <laughs> Zamac Camaro. I, I agree, I bought too many of those. I don't know, some of you might be saying that, but uh, I agree with you. Uh, there's three five packs here. <clears throat> I picked this one up. Uh, I think this is not one of the coolers five packs, but I definitely like the Datsun, so I grabbed it for that. And I want to get another one so I could have one loose. Uh, I found this randomly, some random Christmas five pack. I I'm thinking it's got to be from last year because I picked it up, you know, close to a month ago now. Um, but some cool stuff in there, like like a Mini Cooper, a Mustang, a Beetle. Looks like a, I'm not sure if, what kind of, a Silverado maybe? I'm not sure. Um, probably should have put my glasses on. <laughs> and a Jeep. Uh, and then just another random Matchbox 5-pack that I did not have. That looked pretty cool. Some pretty cool castings in there. Um, Alright, so now on to some of the more premium stuff. Take a break from the, from the basics. <clears throat> I actually met Mick Foley recently. And it was at a nerd shop where they sold all kinds of cool stuff. And they had this, they had obviously die cast cars and they had some green lights. So I picked up the X-Files uh, Chevy Blazer, which is awesome. I love the X-Files, so it was really cool to find that. Um, picked up a couple of uh, racing champions from the Mint set. These are both, these both have red line tires and I just really like uh, the castings and the details. So grab those. Um, at the same store, they had these Mad Magazine, uh, like premium Hot Wheels with real riders. They only had three of them and they got these price tags on them. So that kind of sucks, but these are really nice. They're really, really, really nice. All metal. Um, and you know, a couple of them with red line tires, which works for me. So pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Then there's about, let's see, five different. Auto World cars here. The Dodge Polara. Uh, the Comet Cyclone. We've got a Challenger. And uh, a couple more here. Uh, Dodge Dart. And finally, the Mustang. So that was pretty cool. I like I like Auto World. As far as the premium cars go, I'd say that's my that's my go-to. Um, all right, so let's see what do we got here. Uh, Think Geek and uh, GameStop did their Hot Wheels event, and I picked up the color variants. I got the Miatas, two of each. There's the Daytonas, the Ranger Raptor in silver. And uh, the Jaguar. So that was pretty cool to find those. I got two sets of the color variations. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, I didn't open anything good in the case that they gave me though. Which was a real drag. The guy next to me on either side. Both got a super treasure hunt. And I was. There I was. <laughs> with nothing. Um, Alright so then anyway. Here's a couple more regular treasure hunts that I found recently. Actually there's three more. Uh, there's the Honda Monkey, Shark Ruser, and uh, the Cyber Speeder. A um, couple of uh, Skylines. 
There's the newest one right here. And I found this uh, Zamac one, which is pretty sweet. You know, I got to tell you, I went to a Walmart today. <clears throat> and it was one of those things. I saw three cases, three 72-count cases of Hot Wheels sitting there, sliced open, ready to go. So I started looking through them, looking for the treasure hunts. And the guy that worked there was like, sir, you can't look through the boxes. I'm like, are you kidding? Like, he's like, yeah, for because we worry about shrinkage. I'm like, what are, what are you talking about, shrinkage? Like, I'm not an employee. I'm not going to steal it. I want to buy this stuff. And he was giving me such a hard time. I think, I don't know. It was really strange. But anyway, there was three cases and God knows how many treasure hunts or super treasure hunts just sitting there waiting for me. <sighs> it was frustrating. Um, all right. Well, anyway, moving on. I found this. This was the last of the cars from this set that I needed. Uh, so I went ahead and picked that up. Really love the artwork on the cards for that. Um, and I think I think that's it for the stuff from the stores. I do have some stuff from flea markets, actually. Um, I went to... Let's see. These are actually from a toy show, not from a flea market. Uh, but they're really cool. I picked up this Cadillac Seville. I had this when I was a kid, and God knows what happened to it. So I was pretty happy to find that. Uh, and then I bought this... Uh, yeah, Lincoln Continental... So it's pretty sweet, mint condition. And I wanted a, it's this one, the red one's Matchbox. This one here is Tomy. I had this from a previous uh, collection that I bought. And this one, it's funny because it refers to this as a Ford Continental. So it kind of cracks me up. I figured those kind of look nice together. Uh, this thing is odd. I don't know what this is. It looks like Santa Claus's Cadillac or something. <laughs> so I just I picked it up randomly. Uh, here's a cool Aston Martin. I already have this, but I just, I really like it. This is, oh, whoops. <laughs> here's a Continental, but it's really weird. It's like a lowrider police car. I don't know. Uh, kind of cool. Here's a Dodge. Kind of with a Bumblebee style look to him. Uh, this is like a McDonald's car, I'm pretty sure. But uh, I like the 57, like any of the Chevys from the 50s. So I grabbed it. Uh, here's a Yatming, sort of a, I'm not really sure what model this would be, but um, it's in really nice shape. You know, the doors work and everything, and it rolls really well, so I grabbed it. Uh, this is a Cadillac Ambulance? Yeah, Cadillac Ambulance. Uh, not the best roller, but it looked really cool, so I grabbed it. This is uh, pretty minty. This is a Corvette, uh, let's see, a Roadster? Yeah, Grand Sport Roadster. Uh, really nice. It's like brand new. Uh, this one is a Maverick, I believe. Yeah. Nice blue Maverick. Uh, another Yatming car. Uh, really nice condition. A little bit of uh, wear on the bottom. But, uh, you know, the doors open really nicely. Uh, so I, it rolls really well, too. So that was a pretty sweet pickup. Uh, and then this one, I really was interested in this when I saw it. This is like an old vet. Uh, 50s, I guess. Uh, so it's 1979 Kidco, and it's got an opening hood, and it rolls really well. And I got that for I think a dollar or 50 cents maybe. So I thought that was a really sweet pickup. And at the same, uh, I guess that was like a flea market. Um, there was a guy selling Hot Wheels, and he had some really nice stuff. Picked up two uh, Bluebird 510 wagons. Love my Datsuns. And I also picked this up, which I paid probably a little too much, but this was pretty tough to find on the pegs um, back in the day, or so I'm told. Uh, so this is a really nice 510 in the copper. Um, another toy show that I went to picked up another bunch of cars, starting with, uh, starting with this one, uh, 57 Chevy. The guy that was selling this was really cool. He was talking to me for quite a while. So I was like, you know what? This guy's cool. Let me buy something. <laughs> and this is the only thing that was even remotely close to something I was interested in. Um, another guy had just some cars for $2. And some of them were really sweet. Um, there's a 70 Chevelle with red line tires. Uh, here's another red line. Uh, let's see. 32 Ford Delivery. Here's a Ford Galaxy. What else? Um, here's a 
GTO, 65. Here's a 69 Chevelle. And this one I liked a lot. Card's a little beat up, but uh, this is really, really sweet. Uh, 62 Chevy. Um, okay, I just noticed this thing over there. Randomly, I picked up a Bigfoot monster truck. I'm not really into this stuff, but it was Bigfoot. I remember that when I was a kid, so I went ahead and picked that up. Anyway, going back to the toy show that I was at, I found this one. So I had the copper one that I showed you before, and now I've got the blue one as well. And I only paid like 10 bucks for this. I was really happy about that because... Uh, from what I understand, this is pretty, pretty valuable car because it's in such high demand. Um, all right, just a couple more things to show you here. A couple of treasure. There's a store in town that buys collections of toys just in general, and he got a lot of uh, treasure hunts these days. So every once in a while, I go in there and pick up a couple of treasure hunts. Here's an old uh, '58 Corvette, and uh, what do we have here? A '70 uh, Roadrunner. Really, really nice. I have quite a collection of uh, treasure hunts. I'm going to probably end up doing a video about that. Uh, I have plans for to do a whole bunch of videos. So if you guys like this, that's it. That's everything I had to show you. Um, if you guys like this, please give the video a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel because, I, like I said, I go peg hunting every single day. Uh, so there should be a lot more videos coming. Um, yeah, so like, uh, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you need to do. Uh, and I'll keep pumping these out if you're interested. Um, it'd be interesting to talk to you guys and to, uh, to become part of the community. So thanks again for watching and take it easy.